now we are talking about what this error control uh, policies if you observe this also uh, applied in the data link layer as well as in the the tcp transport layer you can say so here the idea is so what is positive acknowledgement whatever the segment you transmit for that the acknowledgement whatever you get it's called positive acknowledgement so what is duplicate acknowledgement external reminder again you are sending the same acknowledgement then that's called duplicate acknowledgement now here you see we talk about what error control policies how well you define the flow control with the error control policy means it's so simple suppose if this is the sender and this is the receiver and you start sending some data let us hope uh, here 0 is a sequence number and let us for example i am telling in terms of what the data link layer for example so you can observe that internal thing you can call it as what packet and here this external thing you can call it as the yeah sequence number so general tendency how the data is accepted so if you observe once the content has reached to the destination once the content has reached to the destination so this receiver is accepting the data as per the rules of flow control so this receiver is not verifying this inside data if the sequence number 0 is matching with uh, uh, something like uh, uh, the seek receiver's window size suppose it is pointing to 0 so what is happening once the data reaches this 0 is compared with this 0 once it is matching data is accepted and the window is going to shift okay that is what we have learned it is flow control so here is the loophole you will understand that uh, sir here this data is not verified in, uh, that is a doubt anybody can get absolutely so easily once you get this value ek bar is sequence number compare karne ke baad and if it is matching flow control scenario will be completed after that inside this data also has to be verified so to verify this inside data so here comes a concept call it as the error control for example you see it is came with a same sequence number but inside data suppose say it is modified like this so if you strongly believe sequence numbers are matching accept that is the way we end up with a wrong way of thinking this data also should be verified now that is call it as the error control policies so pehle you can ask me a question ki ye data kyu modify ho jayegi no, if noise modifies then there is a issue so that is the reason once the content has received to the receiver receiver has should have a judging capability or analyzing capability whether this data is correct or not so if you find it is correct that means it is you are providing a error control policy it means if you find the data is correct accept the data and start sending the positive acknowledgement but if you find that it is a wrong data see you can say it is a wrong data because you send something you got another thing See, just by seeing with our eyes, we can see it is a wrong data. But how does the network will be knowing? So, network will be knowing by applying these policies. What are the policies? Now, we can discuss that one. So, since it is wrong, this data will not be accepted. Then here, for this particular data, the receiver is going to start sending an acknowledgement. That acknowledgement is called as what? Negative acknowledgement. Indirectly asking the sender you please again resend the data kyunki mujhe a wrong data mila hai iska matlab i got a, a wrong data then sender will again resend the data so this is what the error control policies which we have to cover now okay see just with a matching with a sequence number okay you accept it okay with the help of that window size everything but inside data is correct or not also we have to verify that is call it as a error control policies so now you understand that uh, new things aapko positive acknowledgement pata hai duplicate acknowledgement also you know now you have introduced it to a new term that is called it as the negative acknowledgement
okay if the data is wrong you will send a negative acknowledgement if it is correct you can send a positive acknowledgement you can say so if you send this negative acknowledgement then the sender what it will do it will again retransmit the original data you can say so if it is and sending a negative acknowledgement asking the sender to resend the data indirectly here you are providing something call it as the error and detection policy it is call it as the detection policy so why it is called detection policy whatever you have got the data you have identified this data is wrong so that you have detected so you are resending the negative acknowledgement okay understand fine Yeah. For example, see, uh, suppose say uh, from this particular sender to the uh, receiver. Okay. Uh, once again, if you start sending, suppose say some data. Okay, like this. So while traveling, okay, sequence number is matching, but it is uh, modified like this. Okay. So here also you can observe the data is modified, but here receiver is understand the data is modified by applying the policies. Receiver also understand that uh, which bit is modified by the noise and receiver is having the capability of understanding and observing and finding out what original data is then he just alter that bit like 101101 that means this receiver has a intelligence capability that it knows that here there is an error it also knows that which bit is the error then he will just alter those bits and he will use it so if it is happening so that means here you are providing something call it as the error correction policy actual error correction policy so the point is when it is so why does the receiver will again ask the sender you please again resend the data because it is also having the intelligence capability. So it will not ask. Okay, that is called auto correction facility. So in that situation, are you going to send negative acknowledgement asking the sender to please again resend the data? No, not at all. It is not at all required. Because already used now. So, this is one important, very important question. This negative acknowledgement will be transmitted only for the detection policy, but not for the correction policy. Okay, like that. So, this is how you have to analyze. And uh, you can observe one more important point like this. Okay. See, it is something like where correction policy something will be like, like suppose when the, the rocket is launching while traveling on that path, if there is some malfunction, some error is there. See, you cannot bring back the rocket and repair and again you send. It's not possible. Automatically, it has to correct and it has to move forward. So, that is called auto correction. Same thing is happening. If the receiver is having some intelligence capability of correcting it, it will not again send the acknowledgement like this. It is going to use okay like that. Okay, like that. Yeah. So basically, so how to analyze here? Okay, it is so simple. Huh. For example, you see, uh, if I have taken two inputs of the data, suppose two inputs, if I am taking two inputs of data, if I have taken or you can take two bits, you can say two bits input. So one way or other way, you have to attach what some extra bits you can say. Okay. Uh, for example, if two bits are there, why extra bits? If you observe the flow control policies also for the data, you have attached the sequence numbers. So one way or other way, you are going to provide what some extra bits you can say. Yeah. So for example, uh, when I have taken X and Y, why two parameters? Because you are telling two bits now. So with two bits, what are the possible combinations 0, 0? Since we are discussing in the uh, data linklet, 
let us pop that from the sender network clear you are getting the data of two bits assume like that then the sender data link layer will convert these two bits into what three bits i can say like this so what is this two bits i can call it as the data so what is this two three bits it is two plus one i will call it as so why 2 plus 1 because one way or other way you have to attach some extra bits so here this 2 you can call it as the data bits okay so this one extra bits i will call here by a word let's call it as the parity bit it's something like for providing a flow control you are attaching the sequence number now for providing error control let us hope we go for the parity bit so if i take two bits how many possible combinations I can get? 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. This means that the network is clear. When you are getting a data, when you are selling, it is only 2 bits. So, possible combinations can be 0, 0, ki, chance hai, 0, 1, ya 1, 0, 1, 1, ka chances. So, when it is 0, 0, what is the one bit kya add? Karne wala? So, 0, 1 hua to ye 1 bit kya add karne wal. So, this is what the sender data link layer has to do. How to add this 1 bit? The sender data link layer has to do. Okay, I uh, understand. So, so, here how to apply some logic. So, here I will call uh, that extra bits which is added by the and the data link layer so i will call it as the parity bit i will call it as the parity bit or even parity technique i will go for it some mathematical logic so i will go for the even parity so tell me what is the number i have to attach here so simple so zero when i attach zero 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 is me kitne ones no ones zero one zero is even like that you have to analyze 0 1 ke liye kya attach karun 1 1 0 ke liye kya attach karun 1 why because total number of ones jab yaha 1 attach kiya to total number of ones kya ho gaya 2 ones 2 is a even na same like that 1 0 ke liye 1 attach kiya 2 is a even lekin yaha 0 attach karin total number of ones are even now they use a word jab is a data ko Parity bits add karne se the resultant word they use some technical word that is call it as the code word they use some word called what code word you can say okay like that so so this rule is applied by whom the sender is applying the rule okay which sender the data link layer is applying this uh, rule what is that rule total number of okay ones should be even yeah so this is the code word so if you observe here so simple so what is the code word size three bits code word size is how much three bits i say three bits then they go here two bits ke parity bit attach karne se totally three bits ho gaye lekin asli mein data to network layer jo bas two bits se aa raha hai like in data link layer, it is sending what uh, three bits you can say. So now you only tell me jab three bits how many possible code words you get two power three. Two power three means what eight you can say. Means eight possible code words you are going to get. That means here I can write that uh, with uh, three bits. Okay. The total possible combinations are two power three. So eight possible code words you are getting to possible code words okay like that. but say out of all eight possible humne kitne aage yaha these four so these four you got by applying this rule so what is the rule total number of ones should be even so you can ask me out of all these four eight possible code words i can divide into what two parts so one you can call them as the valid code word okay valid code word so now you can ask me 
sir what are this valid code words you can say so with the help of this rule see with the help of this rule you got this four code words rule kya hai total number of ones should be even so that is the rule so same rule you will apply at the receiver side because when two people are communicating with the same rules only they can communicate okay like that so now if these four are the valid ones so aap dekh sakta hai ki is problem par eight possible code words hua to so here you got four valid code words you can see from this rule out of eight in this problem if four are valid so baki sari or left over all will be invalid code words so we can use a word called invalid code words you can see okay like that we can write so how you got this valid code words means for the help of circuit but if you clearly observe that it is 0 1 1 it it looks like a which gate xor gate so this is with the help of a gate xor gate you get this rule iska matlab sender computer par aur receiver computer par a xor gate hua to then indirectly you get this valid code words you can say okay so noted down so using this code words how you are going to detect it that i am going to explain it after detection how you are going to correct it that also i am going to explain so note it down okay like that so using this concept now we can write like this so that means if i have taken this is the the sender computer so at the sender computer what are the set of uh, code words you have i can write like this these are valid code words so these are the valid code words so how you have generated this code words means using Uh, a gate that you can call it as the XOR gate. So even the code word size is three bits, but the valid ones are only four that you got in this way. Okay. So the meaning is, ah, uh, these code words, okay, are also available at the receiver side computer also. That means rules will be the same at both at the sender and receiver side. then only the properly they can accept see before to this when we go for the flow control policies at the sender side the sequence number is 0 1 2 3 at the receiver side also window is moving from 0 1 2 3 only so the same xor gate will be available at the receiver side so what are the valid code words means you can say 0 1 1 1 0 1 and 1 1 0 so these are the valid code words okay 